I am still practicing the vintage hair. Um, I know it's not perfect, but just because it doesn't turn out perfect, I don't want to just rewash my hair and not film anything just because of it. So we're just going to have to bear with my hair. I know it doesn't look like amazing or anything. I'm just still practicing, so just kind of like bear with me. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another spring-like video. Well, kind of. I'm um, finally switching over my closet from fall, winter to spring, summer. I'm really excited about it because I really want to start making some more fashion content relating to the spring. And I feel like I actually need my spring clothes to be able to do that. You know, that makes sense. I've been really trying to condense my closet a little bit and just have a smaller collection. So I'm hoping to declutter and get rid of a bunch of things that I don't wear anymore or even items that I really love but just don't wear. And truly, I would would love nothing more than to get rid of that garment rack that is behind my door just because it looks so messy and cluttered but I don't have the space in my closet to be able to fit all that stuff in here so I'm hoping to kind of make some improvements and hopefully I can get rid of that garment rack within the next year or so. So I'm going to be starting out by taking out everything that is in my closet and I'm going to be putting it on top of my bed. I'm not going to talk too much about fall winter stuff just because fall winter is over, we don't care anymore, spring is here. I know this looks super messy, but this is what my closet currently looks like. It's kind of an explosion of colors, to be honest. Um, not many pastels, but just more like bright colors. I had coats, and then I had some skirts here. I have blouses, and then I have some thinner coats here. And then I have shoes and purses up at the top, and then some sweaters there on the shelf. But then I have a bunch of shoes there. I have some sweaters here, and then I have a petticoat in that big box, and then I have hats in there. And I swear my closet is actually not as messy as it looks on camera. I honestly think it's the lighting that makes it look super messy because it's actually very color coordinated and organized. So not really sure what the lighting is doing, but it's actually a lot nicer in person. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. Also, I got new artwork. What do you guys think? I am obsessed. I have this one and there's matching on the other side. Looks like this. It is amazing. This one's definitely my favorite one. I think it looks so cute. So far, I have three pieces that I'm debating if I'm gonna be keeping or not from like my winter stuff. Um, I'm probably just gonna leave a big pile here and then when I have everything done, I will just try everything on and then we'll see what I keep and what I donate. I always regret switching over my closet when I actually see the piles on my bed because I just keep thinking thinking that I have to get rid of all this stuff or I won't be able to sleep tonight and it's just a lot. Okay, I'm gonna start bringing in some spring pieces and I already see one coat that, or like little jacket that I debated getting rid of last year and I'm kind of feeling like I'm probably gonna get rid of it. It is really cute but it's like a little tweed jacket that has a little bow at the front and it is really, really cute. I really like it but I've had it for a few years and I swear I've only worn it once. And it's keep taking up so much room in my closet and like for what? This is honestly one of my favorite blouses. It fits me perfectly. It is like, it looks like it's made for me just because it fits me so well. And I just think it's so cute and this color is just amazing. And the little puff sleeves, it is just, it's so cute. This is actually one of my favorite vintage dresses. I think it's so cute. This color is amazing and it has all these little pleats all over it. And I just think it's so cute. Um, so definitely keeping this because I love it. However, this jacket I love. I love the color. I think it's so fun, but I am kind of thinking that I've only worn it once. It does take up a lot of room. Like it's really cute, but I don't really have many things to pair it with. Okay, sorry for the really awkward angle, but I think I'm gonna move some things around. I'm gonna put all the coats on this side here and then have all the dresses on that side just because I have a little bit more room for like longer things. So I think I have more like longer dresses than I do long coats for the spring and summer.
this dress I love. I think it's so cute. I love the little drop waist with all the pleats at the bottom. I think it's so stunning. It kind of reminds me of the uniforms from the Von Trapp family in The Sound of Music, even though it's obviously not as nice as their uniforms because I've always wanted their uniforms. I think they're so cute. Um, but this is probably the closest thing that I've been able to find. And I actually didn't wear this last year, so I'm hoping I get a chance to actually wear it this year just because obviously we weren't really going out anywhere last summer. I have so many of these kind of like groovy 1960s these kind of print dresses. I always forget how many I have. I don't really buy them that much anymore just because I have so many of them that it's like I do not need anymore. This is another one of my favorite dresses and it has that nautical vibe that I'm like really into for the summer. So this one I actually wore a bunch of times last summer. I love it. I think the colors are really cute. I love the collar on it. Super super pretty. And then underneath I have this dress that I got last year. Unfortunately I didn't really get a chance to wear it um, but I'm hoping to wear it this summer because it's so cute. It has a very 1940s fit to it. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera right now, but um, there's like little pleats here at the front. It's really, really flattering when you're wearing it. This is the kind of style that I'm really into for the spring and summer. Very like nautical, sailor kind of style, like really nice and long kind of fitting dresses. I just think it's so cute. I don't know what it is, but I've just been really drawn to this kind of like sailor kind of style. And it even has the little sailor thing at the back. Like, it looks like this at the back, which is, like, so cute and has little puff sleeves. Sorry, the lighting is super dark. It's getting really dark outside. It's a little bit later in the day. But I also have this one by Laura Ashley. So it's actually not as old as it seems. It's just that kind of style. But it also has that nautical feel to it with this type of collar. And the back of it is stunning. Let me turn it around. I mean, look at how gorgeous the back of this dress is. I'm absolutely obsessed. I know I keep saying that about everything, but, like, look at it. It is just so pretty. Okay, so the lighting is disappearing, so I'm not really sure how much more I'm going to be able to show you. If I show you anything, it's just going to be like B-roll clips. Um, but right now, I'm just going to go have dinner, and then I have to finish tidying up what's on here. That's all that's pretty much left from the top of my bed, so I can actually sleep tonight because like, there's room on my bed. And I wasn't going to say, I was pretty ruthless, actually. I'm getting rid of a few things. The pile's pretty high, so I'm excited to try things on and just to see exactly what I'm going to be getting rid of. But I'll show you guys all that tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is the next day and truly it is a really cold, ugly, gloomy, rainy day today and I don't really feel like working on my closet today. I kind of just want to like chill and not do anything but my room is a complete disaster. I have stuff everywhere so I feel like I almost have to keep going. Uh, so I pretty much finished the closet section. I think I showed you guys kind of how it was looking. And now I'm going to start working on the dresser that's over there. So I brought up the big Tupperwares that I have, all of like my folded things. I have like shorts and stuff in there. So I think I'm going to start working on that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this dress. It's so cute. It has like the daintiest little flower print on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but it has like these little flutter sleeves and then the whole bottom of it is like ruffles. It is just so cute. This one's like all lace. It's gorgeous. And it's like really nice and long and like A-line. Very like 1940s. Oh my gosh, I love this dress too. Look at how stunning this is. Like a little 1950s little party dress, so cute.
So these are actually the only pairs of pants that I own. So I'm going to be putting, I think, most of these away just because obviously this is not a pair of summer pants, especially this one. It's like wool. Um, I have like corduroy, other plaid ones. This one I might leave behind because it is kind of like a summery kind of style. This one I really want to get rid of actually. So like... Today is day three of me trying to switch over my closet and today I actually tried out a new hair technique. Um, I use like hot tools and rollers and I did that this morning just to see if I can get something similar to me actually doing like a wet set and I mean I like it like I think it looks really cute but I don't think it's gonna last as long like I feel like by the end of today I feel like most of these curls are gonna be like almost straight. Um, it has fallen a little bit since I put, took the curlers down. You can even see it at the back that it's getting a little bit looser. So I don't think that's gonna work very well for me. However, this is a little bit closer to what I'm trying to achieve with the wet set. Like earlier in the past couple of days, you saw my hair was a little bit tighter. The curls were a little bit more like pushed up a little bit. This is a little bit looser and a little bit more youthful, I guess, if you want to say. So this is kind of what I'm trying to achieve. If any of you guys even care about my hair, this is not even a video about hair. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Let's move on to the actual topic of this video, which is my closet. Uh, I don't know why I'm going on a hair rant right now, but you know, it's fine. Um, okay, so um, I did the inside of the closet. I have stuff all over the floor. Like I put all these like sweaters and stuff that I took out of my closet and they're pretty much all over the floor. So I have to like tidy that up. And then I also have to deal with the garment rack. I haven't really touched it at all. I have to put away all of those skirts and hang up all of my sleeveless dresses and stuff so we're gonna be doing that today I also have this massive pile of things right here that I want to try on also I saw in the weather that later this week it's supposed to snow so I'm really like reconsidering my life choices right now because if it snows I don't really know what I'm gonna wear all I have is like my spring and summer stuff so don't really know what I'll do in that situation but now that I think about it we're in a stay-at-home order and like a lockdown so I can't really go anywhere. No, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's just get started because this is getting really rambly and I'm just talking too much, so let's get into it. I mean, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Look at all the stuff that's all over my floor. This is just not acceptable. And the lighting is also like so bad right now because it's raining outside and you can already tell how dark my room is right now. No, my camera is not crooked. The garment rack, however, is not straight. So in the fall and winter, I have all of my like 1950s wool, like plaid pleated skirts. They're like my favorite thing to wear in the fall and winter. I think it's so cute. Um, but obviously I'm not gonna be wearing this in the spring and summer. So I'm gonna be taking all of those out and then I'm gonna be hanging up all of my sleeveless dresses. Um, so I'm just gonna take all this off without hopefully the garment rack falling to the floor. I'm telling you, one of these days, like in the middle of the night, this thing's gonna fall and I'm gonna be screaming at the top of my lungs. Okay, I just finished the little garment rack over there and it looks so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys because I'm actually obsessed with this color palette. Look at this. Ta-da! Look at how beautiful. Look at all these beautiful colors. Oh my gosh. Obsessed. <laughs> it's 
So I just spent the past 10 minutes taking selfies on my phone because I don't really feel like doing anything But I feel like I need to because it's still a mess behind me So maybe what I should do next is try on a bunch of the I'll turn around so there's more lighting um, Maybe I should try on a bunch of the stuff that I'm thinking about getting rid of just because if not, it's going to sit in a giant pile on the floor. So maybe I'll do that. I'm going to clear up this area. Okay, so right now I'm just going to sort through everything. I know there's a few pieces in here that I know I'm going to be getting rid of. So I'm just going to sort through what I know I'm going to be getting rid of. And then some pieces that I want to try on. And then we will try them on. Uh, so I'm just going to do that. <laughs> First up we have this little mustard skirt. It is really cute. It has little pleats. However, it is a little bit too big for me. You can see that here it's just really loose. Um, so I don't really like that. Um, this mustard color is also not something that I typically grab. Okay, and then I have this little pair of shorts, which I do think they are really cute in theory. I love the colors and the stripes and everything. However, my issues with it is that it has pockets, first of all, and I hate anything that has pockets just because it kind of like puffs out a little bit, which I don't particularly like and they're also a little bit see-through which is also kind of annoying But they do look really cute on and I think this could be really cute for like riding my bike or something like that Okay, Then we have these pants which I'm not a hundred percent convinced about They are really comfortable for like hanging out around the house on like a cold summer day type thing um, So I'm not entirely sure. I do think they are cute is this skirt not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it. It has like these giant pockets at the front, which I actually think is so cute. And this color. And I don't know. I'm just like obsessed with it. I think it's so, so cute. Ding. <laughs> and I have this little dress, which you guys have seen so many times because I feel like it's always up for debate on if I get rid of it or not. But then I put it on and I love the way that it fits. And I just think it is really, really cute. It is a modern dress. I got it at an actual store, so it's not vintage. And it is a little bit short for the time period that it's trying to emulate. But I do think it is really cute. So I'll probably hang on to it for like really hot summer days where I'm hanging out around the house. Then there's this one, which I originally bought as a bathing suit cover up, but I actually just bought a new one. So make sure you guys tune in for my next haul video because I have a really cute new bathing suit cover up um, but anyway so this one I'm pretty sure shrunk in the wash it has like a little slip underneath but it's like really really short compared to like where the actual dress goes so it is a little bit too short so I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this outside of my house I would only wear it like to the pool or something I have these two dresses that are actually really similar in color and in silhouette they're both sleeveless so I'm going to try both of them on and see which one I prefer Okay, here is dress number one, and I'm gonna say the pro for this, it has a really nice pattern on it, which is really cute, and it makes me look really tan when I have a tan. I'm like not tanned at all right now, but when I do have a tan, it does make me look really nice and tan. It fits really nicely. It's super, super comfortable. The negative side to this is that it has like the dry clean only situation, which is kind of annoying. It's the second dress, and honestly, I thought it fit better than it does. Like, I feel like I'm not a huge fan of these pleats here it just looks really strange love the back i think it's such a cute little detail there it just looks really really nice however i'm not like entirely convinced by it so i'm just gonna get rid of both of them i've decided goodbye okay so i'm running out of light right now so i think what i'm gonna do for the rest of today is just tidy up everything and hang up everything that i have scattered on the floor um and then tomorrow morning i'll give you guys a little tour and show you how i organized everything and just like the finished product basically so i'll see you guys tomorrow Hi guys, so it is the next day. My room is finally clean. My closet is switched over and it looks like a pastel explosion on the inside. So I'm really excited to show you guys how it all turned out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how my closet looks. Starting with the Garmin rack, I think I showed you guys this already, but this is pretty much all of my long midi skirts. So I have them all kind of organized by height order there. Um, and then on this side, I have all of my sleeveless dresses, which I know it looks like there's a lot of them, which is true, there is a lot of them, but I do 
actually wear all of those. I know I mentioned in the beginning of this video that eventually I do want to get rid of this garment rack, which I still do. I do think it looks really messy and I feel like I could probably put something else there. Um, but for now, as you can tell, it is holding a lot of my stuff. So I guess it will be staying for a little bit longer. Moving on to my closet. It looks so much better. Let me open it. So this is what my closet currently looks like and I know it looks really messy from an outsider's perspective but I promise you it's actually really really organized. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. So back here I have all of my evening dresses that I don't really grab especially right now um, and then I have all of my coats here um, and then that moves into all of my blouses. Then I have these little like four tiered hangers with all of my skirts or like the shorter skirts anyway. And then I have a couple of like not midi skirts. They're a little bit shorter than a midi skirt, but I have two of them here. Then I have this faux fur shawl thing that I probably should put away, but it's kind of staying there for now. Um, and then over here, I have all of my dresses that are not sleeveless, which seems a little bit crazy because I know I have a lot of them. However, it's pretty much all I wear in the spring and summer. I rarely wear any shorts or pants. You're going to see in a second how little of those I actually have. At the top, it hasn't really changed that much. I have my purses and then shoes at the very top there, which pretty much stay there like all year round. And at the bottom here, I have some shoes. I'm still not 100% convinced on these shoes here. I'm probably going to be finding another home for them and storing something else there. But um, yeah, for now, they're just going to stay there. And if you were wondering throughout this entire video, look who's here, Rupert. And then the doors pretty much stay the same all year round. So I have some backpacks and my little hat there. And then at the bottom here, I have this little gingham matching set, which is like one of my favorite things. I think it's so cute. And on the other side, I also have some backpacks. And then I have some other like bags and stuff like that here at the bottom. Moving on to the dresser on the very top shelf, not shelf, drawer, I have all of like my folded things. So it's actually quite roomy. You can see how much room there's actually left over there. And if you remember from some of my past videos, this used to be exploding. So I've actually made a lot of progress in terms of this kind of thing. So most of the pieces that I have in here are cardigans. And then I have a few little tops in here and like really thin sweaters for the uh, spring and summer. And on this side, I have a bunch of these little striped like spaghetti straps kind of tops which actually look like a little bathing suit so they do look really cute on like a really hot summer day with a nice pair of matching shorts so i'll wear like red shorts and then i'll wear this little spaghetti strap kind of top i don't know i think it's really cute and then this drawer is pretty much the only other drawer that actually has clothes in this dresser so i have pants here so the pants that i have are just these ones and then over here are just like my denim shorts um, and then in here, I just have a few pairs of shorts, but like nothing really that crazy. And then I have all of my slips on this side. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you like this sort of video. I feel like they have been fairly popular on my channel in the past. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Okay, now that we're at the end of this video, I just want to give a really quick hair update. Not that many of you guys care. I feel like most of you guys don't, but it's more so for me so that I have a record of it. So yesterday I um, curled it with my strainer, which is what I usually do. And then I put it in a roller while it was hot and I just kind of let it sit there for like an hour or two. And then last night I just put rollers in my hair with nothing. I just kind of like put them in just to see what would happen. Um, and this is the result. It actually does look really nice when I have my head turned this way. I think the shape of it is really nice. but. It's it's still not like perfect or the look that I'm trying to go for. I feel like it does look a little bit too short for me. Like it looked a little bit longer yesterday. So I'm still kind of practicing, um, but I think I am slowly getting the hang of it. Also, I'm not a huge fan of this front section. I feel like the top of my head is really, really flat because usually when I have like a wet set, originally I do have a little bit more volume at the top of my head. So I feel like this part looks a little bit too flat at the top of my head, which I'm not too fond of. Um, but yeah, so progress so far, not too bad. Um, okay, now I'm actually gonna end this video. Thank you so much for sticking around till the very end if you did watch this whole hair update. And okay, bye.